Dr. John Glover was a high school teacher in Miami when an FBI agent recruited him for the job. There was some pressure on then director J. Edgar Hoover to diversify. Soon he was off to train at Quantico. There were 36 uh, uh, new agents in my training class. I was the only African American. So that was a, a you know, actually a culture shock. He scored the highest in his class and soon took on several leadership roles in the bureau. I was there, Stokely Carmichael, Smith yeah. was there. Uh, the Black Panther Party attempted to open up a chapter in, in headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, in April, of course, 4th of 1968, Dr. King was killed. There were riots on the street. Then, in February 1979, he made history as the first African-American to lead a field office. His assignment, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Did you know at the time how significant that was? Yes, you do know it, but when you're living it, you don't, or at least my, from my own personal experiences, you don't feel it. At the time, the FBI office was here at the federal building downtown. Dr. Glover was only here in Milwaukee for a short time, but during that time, he used it to fight organized crime. He says the attorney general, the police chief, and the mayor didn't believe there was any. And several months later, uh, we proved them wrong. We had a short undercover operation, which gave us enough probable cause to put in a first wire, and pretty soon we had approximately seven wires going. We were able to prove it through indictments, through convictions. When he retired in 1989, he was the highest ranking African American in the FBI. Why is it so important that we have a diverse FBI? I mean, I think, you know, there's, there, are, there are some barriers. You know, some people uh, look around, and I never looked at Some people look around, for instance, the FBI, and if they don't see anybody that looked like them, they, they don't feel welcome. That, that's kind of one thing. It's a tough job. Is it hard? Yeah. Do you have to make sacrifices? Yeah. Is it tough? Yeah. But it's also very rewarding. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.